Hello guys, I'm happy to have you here once again. I am Falon Nishe Olutaya Oyebisi and I welcome you all to this channel. Today we'll be talking about how to make one of our household usables. You know, it's, it can be referred to as an antiseptic and um, the general name in the market people call it is Deto. So we'll be learning how to make this wonderful antiseptic that we can use in our homes, our offices, in the hotels and wherever we is an household usable. Come along with me as I take you step by step of how to make this wonderful product. Welcome back guys. Today I said we'll be learning how to make our antiseptic. So identification of these various chemicals. Here is my isopropyl alcohol. As you can see, the short form is IPA. Here is my water. My normal water, you can use your pure water, you can use distilled water. Just make sure that the water is clean and free of impurities. Here is my texapon. If you are new on this channel, you might have not seen me use texapon before now. However, for those that have been coming along with me, this is Texapon. We have used it for several other productions right on this channel. Also, here is my pine oil. A major reagent in this production of today. And here is my fermented color. Here is a chocolate color that I dissolved into this. You will have seen me dissolve, show the picture of color in the air freshener production and some other production that have been made under this channel. Now let's go straight into the production. First of all, I'll be scooping in my Texapon into this container. This container is my mixing container. I'm using 20 grams of my Texapon. Don't forget I said you will hardly get to a chemical shop that will sell 20 grams of Texapon to you. Please let's have that in mind. Tell them you want to buy the list. Be the one to scoop out your texapon or measure it by yourself. I'm pouring in my pine oil and I'm using 70 ml of my pine oil. It's almost filled just because this container is somehow bent. So I'm using 70 ml of my pine oil. I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be covering the container and I'm going to be shaking this thoroughly. I will shake it thoroughly until I can no longer see traces of the texapon inside this pine oil. Before I forget, this production is for one liter of our antiseptic. One liter production. This production is for one liter, like I said earlier. So you can see that the texapon has totally dissolved. If you have watched the air freshener, exactly the same process we used while we were used producing the air freshener. Like I said in that video, I said that our texapon is a solvent. It helps water and oil to mix together as one. And that is why we'll be able to mix water to this pine oil and add other components and will not experience any separation. Let's move on. Thereafter, I'm going to be adding in my IPA. This IPA is already dissolved IPA. I have something we call chlorosanol powder. I already dissolved it inside this IPA. So I'm sorry I didn't have chlorosanol powder right at home this day. So I have to bring the IPA that I already dissolved my chlorosanol powder. I'll try to make sure that I show you the picture of the chlorosanol powder as you watch this video. So my chlorosanol powder I used 50 gram, dissolved it inside my 500 ml IPA. So before I add in my IPA, mixed already with my chlorosanol powder, I'll be adding in my water. However, for the benefit of those that have probably seen a video or two on the production of antiseptic, some individuals usually add phenol. But personally, I don't add phenol to my production. Phenol is hot and it's a major reagent in our ISA production. But personally, I don't add phenol to my own production. I prefer the antiseptic to be mild so that my children 
and other members of my family can enjoy it. Anytime I add fennel, which I'm supposed to add when I added the pine oil, anytime I add fennel, the detol is usually very hot. When we add it to water and we use the water to wash our face, we feel a peppery sensation. So I decided to remove fennel from my list of producing my antiseptic. Thereafter, I am adding in my isopropyl alcohol already dissolved with the closanol powder. As you can see, I'm pouring it inside the container. You can make larger proportion of this in a bigger container. I usually like to use this kind of container for simplicity so that we can see everything in a stop. So we are going to mix it thoroughly. You can see that the cloudy part of this is now very clear. So we are only going to add in our color. And if you have watched any of my videos, you will remember that I said color is usually to taste. If you are adding in your color to your antiseptic, you please add to taste. What that means is that color, I'm not going to be giving you a measurement for your color. If you have dissolved your 20 ml of color inside your water, you add it little by little until you get to the desired color. Exactly what I'm doing. I have added little color. I'm trying to cover the color. I'm trying to cover the antiseptic and I'm shaking it thoroughly. Oh, perfect. I can't really tell if it's because I've been doing this for a while. It's a regular thing we produce in my store. Maybe that is why I can add the color just once and I can get this very beautiful color. Here is the end product of my data. However, this container was not able to contain the isopropy alcohol dissolved with my closanol powder as well as I have the leftover water. So if you are making your own production, you can decide to use 5 liter keg, mix all these things exactly the way I've done it, and you are going to have a wonderful product. Also, I decided to tell those people that may be watching or might have subscribed to this channel from the free class. Because we talked about how people will be financially independent. So the cost of producing this, I would like to explain. The Texas pond that I used is less than 100 Naira. Even though in Nigeria here, most shops will not sell Texas pond that is lesser than 100 Naira to you. And that is why you can see that I have my Texas pond, I have leftover, which you can cover very well and keep till another day. Even when you get to the chemical shop, they may not be selling it inside the container. I was the one that put this Texapon inside this container for the purpose of this video. Also, the isopropyl alcohol at the market now is ranging between 1,2 and 1,005 per liter. So half liter that I brought for this production is just between, let me just say 750 for this half liter production. So if we bought this 100 Naira and we have bought this 750, we are talking about 850 already. The color is usually tied one for 50 Naira right here in Nigeria. So if we are adding 100 Naira to 750, having 850 plus this, I'll be having my 100 Naira. My clorosanol powder was sold for 150. If I'm adding that to the amount that I've added initially, which is supposed to be 750 plus 100, 850 plus 50 Naira, 900 plus my 150, that will be 1,050 Naira. My pine oil for one eighth cup is usually sold for 400 Naira. I decided to measure out the measurement that I needed for this 400 Naira. So the measurement that I used, I can assume that it's just 300 Naira. So my 1,050 Naira added with my 300 Naira makes this production something around 1,400. However, the calculation that I just made has nothing to do with the containers and some other logistics or transportation or thereabouts. Thank you. If you are a newbie, kindly subscribe to this channel. If you are an existing subscriber, thank you for watching.